Yeah, it was very good. Uh, you know, at this time, especially with, you know, the team coming in and um, they they still in a, in, a, in a position to try to get a position, you know. And so we knew they was going to fight and we was going to get um, get their best. So it was very good. It was needed. Uh, I thought we played very well as a team um, you know, from the start of the game. You know, to the end. A couple years ago, when when you guys would have a big lead and then get down like you did in the third quarter. It might have gone the other way. You got down to that? Yeah, you were down after the four-point play. Oh, I don't remember. You were involved. No. Oh, and I fouled Jimmy. Yes. Yeah, I see. I don't even remember. Hey. I didn't even, yeah, but we were a different team. You know, um, we had a 15-point lead, and um, they cut it to two, you know, at the end of the second. And um, you know, we just came in the locker room and talked about, you know, what we can control and what we can, you know, come out and do better in the, second, in the third quarter. And we did that. And, um, you know, so... We understand the game. It's a game full of runs, and um, you know it's going to be moments where it's going to be amazing. There's going to be moments where it's, you know three, four, five plays going might go bad for you. Um, but you just got to keep it going and uh, keep working your game. So the locker room would have been a much angrier place a couple of years ago. Have to. Um, yeah, been more angry individuals, you know, and you know, and I don't know if it'd have been as much talk. You know, now we come in, we talk about you know what we need to do, you know, as a team, um, and then we just we just go out and handle it. You know, we understand and know each other. We know what we need to do. Um, as a unit, and um, you know, like I said, it doesn't happen every day or every game. But you know, for the majority, we go out there and do our job. We don't have good. time to kind of look at your record, 64 and 16. Can you talk about what it takes at this level to win 64 out of 80 games? Um, just you know, preparing every every day. Um, like that game is important, and um, you know, I felt once you know when the season started, I felt we you know we was started a little slow. Um, but once we, we got into the groove of things, you know, we've been playing great basketball and we've just been coming in and being professionals, you know, uh, preparing for each game um, like it's important, um, as, as we should. So, you know, very good for a team, you know, when they come, they say that you have a um, you know, championship hangover and uh, we came in and we didn't have that this season. Um, so two more games left and then, you know, we get to what, you know, we are built for, um, the playoffs. So, you know, we're looking forward to it. Do you feel ready for us to play out? Huh? What does Birdman mean to this a team? A lot. You know, Bird means a lot to this team. Um, you know, I think he su surprised everybody, you know, when he came here, how well he fit in here. You know, and, um, you know, I, I'm excited that we have him. He's going to be big for us in the playoffs. He's getting, you know, he, now he's getting his legs under him. And he understands the culture of what we're trying to do. He understands um, our offensive philosophy. Um, but his energy and his defense, um, you know, is, and the way he can finish up the rim. Um, we haven't had that dynamic, you know, so it's great. When you first saw him playing and you saw the tattoos and the hair, do you think this guy's more a character than a ball player? No, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, Bird's been playing this league for a while. And, um, you know, he has some very good years um, in, in Denver. So, you know, you knew what he what he did as, a, you know, as an opponent. Um, but, you you know, you really don't get the effect, you know, until you were his teammate. So, um, you, know, we don't, you know, we don't judge books by his cover around here. You know, we all have, you know, our own personalities. Um, we all are different, um, but we all have one common goal, and that goal is, you know, is to come in, um, do whatever it takes to win a championship. And you know, guys come to the locker room. We got great teammates, you know, great individual guys, and um, so you know, he fit right in. With the big three getting a run the last couple of games after sitting out, some do you guys do you feel ready for the playoffs now? Um, yeah, uh -huh. you know, we do. And uh, like I said, you know, this time it's you know continues to take care of the, the bumps and bruises as well. But you know, we got some um, you know, some good runs here at home, and like I said, we got two more. Um, you know, and you know, we'll see. But we feel ready for the playoffs. We've been ready for it for a while. You know, so um, we look forward to it. What's the book on Milwaukee? You know, now that you know you're officially. Ah, uh, I'll talk about them when we get to them. Okay. We got two games before them. Does the COVID injury make it easier for you to take a day off every now and then? No, I mean you can't think about that, man. You know, it's um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. You know, the injuries happen. Period. Um, you know, and especially you know to to guys like a Kobe Statue or Derrick Rose, etc. Uh, that means so much to our game. You know, and um, they would be missed. Um, but you know, you got to go out there and you got to play, and then you take you, you got to read your body and you got to understand your body and do you know what what's best for you. You know, and everyone you know knows that you know they know their own body. We well, talk about just the difference in the playoffs this year. You're going to go in as last year. You know, there were still a lot of naysayers. You didn't have the top record. Now you got the top record. Everybody's thinking the Heat's going to mm -hmm. rout and whatever. Just talk about the difference of of being the front runner, undisputedly this year. No, no. We're not focused on that. You know, you can't just because someone say you're going to do something, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen. You know, we have to come in and understand that every team is in this playoffs, um, you know, for a reason, no matter what seed you are. Um, and we got to come in and, and take care of business like we've done all season and like we've done um, since we've been together. You know, so you know we're going to come in and you know we're zero zero. You know, we're Milwaukee when we face them, mm -hmm. and um, the first game we're trying to win just like they're trying to win, and we go from there.
And do you have any thoughts on uh, Kobe's injury? Well, I mean, as I, you know, I sent out a tweet, you know, yesterday, and I uh, reached out to Kobe. And, you know, it's obviously it's unfortunate um, that, that this happened. I mean, he's having a hell of a year. You know, you talk about somebody willing, willing the team, um, you know, to a goal. You know, he's doing that. Um, you know, so you know, losing Kobe, you know, as a our game, you know, it's not nothing that we, you know, mm -hmm. for our game. That's not nothing that you know we, we want to do. But the uh, only thing you can think of, you know, when you see someone like him and you hear, like I said, you hear his interview afterwards, and you know, you know that he's going to do everything in his power to come back and, and be, you know, the Kobe Bryant that everyone's came accustomed to. Um, so you know, you can believe him when he said. Playing tomorrow with Major League Baseball, Roger, Jackie Robinson. Can you just talk about this lasting and kind of transcendent impact he's had? Well, it's amazing, you know, um, for my kids and, <laughs> and their kids and kids. And, you know, he's going to forever be um, known, um, you know, for what he was able to accomplish.